I have one prompt, 10 different models, and 10 different versions of the game Snake. I'll show you how I set it up, what I did to use it, and then find the output from each one. I'm only gonna have two rules. First one, I'm gonna use Autogen with the same prompts. And two, I'm only gonna ask it to fix code up to five times. All right, so I'll be using runpod.io to host my machines. I chose this pod for 39 cents an hour. I then deploy it, connect to Jupyter Notebooks, and then paste my Autogen code to execute my prompt to create Snake. This will also be my GitHub. Download Olama, and then type Olama serve to start the local server on the pod. I download the model, then once I'm in the workspace directory, I type python main.py, and then we start with the first model. All right, the first model up is phi3. After the initial setup, the game did start, which is a good start, but when I try to hit the apple, yeah, nothing happens. And I don't die when I hit out of bounds. I tried again, and similar thing. I then asked it to fix this because it didn't work quite right. Then it just decides to give me hard mode. Well, the next model is GPT-4. I actually only had to ask it once to give me this, and though the colors are questionable, the game is working. It moves by itself, grows when it eats an apple, and also dies when I hit the edge. And even though the text is off screen, I can quit or Yay! play again. Cool. The next model is GPT-3.5 Turbo, which is the last one that you actually have to pay anything for. Again, this created the game and it does work. I do like the border and the gameplay is there. I also like the colors here a little bit better than what GPT-4 gave me. The only issue is the apple can sometimes appear off screen and well, okay. then you can't really play. And I did try to fix this with a few iterations and nothing really changed, but generally it does work. All right, now we're at Llama 3. I had high hopes for this model and this is the first attempt. It just grows, no apple or food on the screen. I also don't die going out of bounds. I said, I don't see any food and the snake grows immediately. It doesn't grow when food appears. Can you please fix this? Well, it didn't fix it. I told it what's wrong again and this time it just made the snake slower. I tried another time and nothing. So Llama 3, even though the game does actually start, it didn't really get me where I wanted to. For our fifth model, I chose Gemini 1.5 Pro. For this model, I did use Vertex AI, which is kind of like Google's Cloud Playground. With this model, it really would never finish the code completely, so I then had to ask it to finish the rest of the code. That, that happened all the time with just this model. Once I got both halves, I ran it, and it worked. It has a high score for each food piece I collect, responds well, and the food does appear on the screen. Only issue, and really the only issue I found, is the snake doesn't move by itself, which is kind of, I guess, the core gameplay mechanic of the game snake. But the text on dying is on the screen, and I can just play again. But no matter how many times I asked it to fix the snake auto movement, it just wouldn't. All right, we're halfway, and I gotta say the next five models are eh and interesting. And next up, we have Gemma 7B. Well, did you see that? That was quick, I know. Let me slow it down to a tenth of the speed. Well, it just goes straight up on start and I die. Well, I asked it to fix that and it does and it's actually slower, so now I can do something. However, there's no food and I can't do anything. I asked it to fix that and I'm pretty sure the AI at this point is just telling me to screw off and my demands and it decided to give me extreme mode. Now we're at Mistral. I had high hopes again for this one. However, they weren't quite met. I asked it a few times to fix the original code that wouldn't even compile. Finally it did, and I got this. It's more like I can draw buildings than actually play a snake game. So after asking it to fix the code two more times, it just gave me something completely different. I mean, at least it more resembles snake. And the best part is, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I actually fail when I hit the apple. Reverse snake. At number eight, we have Hermes 2.0. So this model was different and it decided to give me a text version of Snake, which I actually thought was pretty interesting. However, it doesn't really work. I would input the commands and it never reprinted the updated text board. I asked it to fix it more than a few times and it just never did. So kind of a flop, though I thought this version was pretty interesting. Next up, we have Wizard LM, which you may not have heard of. The initial code gave me compile errors. So I asked it to fix that and try to paste a new code in. Well, then I got another compile error Ask agent to fix that, and then I finally got code or it would actually run, sort of. However, this time when it actually ran, it immediately quit due to another error. I tried up to the allotted five times to have the model fix this. Same thing happened. This was another flop. Lastly, we have the Quen model. For this last model, and I say this one for last, this one, 
it really didn't work or compile at all. This was littered with spelling mistakes that I fixed against, going against my rules to try and help it. It would just keep adding more slashes and parentheses than needed, and it wouldn't fix it. I asked it to just even import the Pi game at the top. It said it did, and then it never actually did. I ended up just completely giving up on this model, and this is the one that just never even ran a snake game. Okay, thank you for watching. I have all the models in the description and all of the Python outputs that I got from Autogen for each of these models will be in my GitHub in my AI project in the description. Please like and subscribe. Join my Discord community, which will be in the description as well. Here are a couple AI courses that you can take that are completely free on YouTube. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.